Good morning. Good morning, lovely friends. It's another frigid cold day up here, but at least the wind is less today. So, so the wind chill is not as bad. <laughs> but we're talking minus 18 or minus 20 degrees. <laughs> Yoda's got her coat on today. <laughs> Even Yoda's got an extra coat on. <laughs> Here I am, just getting myself out, just getting myself moving, just reaching out to my friends, to my family, through relationship, through community, through dialogue. This is how it happens. Through sharing. That's how change happens. That's how the message gets out. That's how a new, healthy, happy message gets out. Hello friends, hello friends, good morning, good morning. Just getting myself going for the day. I wanted to jump on again today. I wanted to make sure that I got up and got going today. <laughs> I want to tell you that yesterday that I was swallowed up. <laughs> I got swallowed up by all the rubbish that's around and I want to tell you that if you've been swallowed up by the fear and worry and all of the rest that's all around you that's okay it's okay good morning friends good morning family it's okay if you're feeling down there's a lot of down information around there's a lot of fear around a lot of people have that message inside of them and are sharing that and it's being spewed around it's in the media it's all around us don't worry if you've been affected it's very normal to be affected it would be abnormal if you were unaffected <laughs> it's okay it's okay to sometimes need to get down and be triggered by what's going on around and to fall into the the, the negative emotions the fear-based emotions the worry the frustration, the anger, any of the shadow emotions can come up. And yes, you know what? That's what healing is all about. Emotional. Healing is emotional. We have to get to the roots. We have to get to the emotions that are causing the sickness, the illness and disease in our bodies and life. Yes, the dense shadow emotions that get trapped in the tissues. They're dense and they don't move through the body freely. All of the energy in the body is supposed to move freely through the body. Those dense, dark shadow emotions they stick in the body they get stuck in the body and, and and over time they start to cause sickness illness and disease if you're over 40 or over 50 if you're gaining weight if you're feeling aches and pains in your body trouble with sleeping or problems with digestion all of these things are linked to emotional issues it's not old age Although everyone will tell you it's old age and old age I want to tell you is nothing but a bad habit. It's a bad habit of thought and word, of thinking, it's stinking thinking that's bringing about aches and pains in the body, trapped emotional stuff in the body and we can remove the shadow and the trigger. The trigger is one thing that directs us to the shadow. So, hey, even the trigger is valuable. If you can find the value in it, if you cannot get stuck in it. So, hey, yes, we get caught in the shadow sometimes. Myself, too. I'm no different than you. But what we need to do, sometimes we get triggered and sometimes we need to sit with those inner triggers we need to sit with those negative feelings. We need to feel them. We need to feel them all up and be in them and accept them and forgive them. The thoughts and words of fear and sh shadow emotions. We have to accept them and forgive them and let them go. Bring them to the light by acknowledging them, being with them. And then, you know what? We need to move on. We need to make a new decision. We need to think and speak differently. We need to get up again the next day and choose again to engage with some new thoughts and words. So, hey, if you get stuck in that shadow sometimes, if you get triggered by something around you, if you get triggered by, you know, your loved ones, so just coming off of the Christmas, a lot of people could have been triggered by some things that happened with our family, the people that we love the most, trigger us the most. These are the biggest triggers in our life. The people we love, the things we love, 
our work, our finances, worrying about our future, our health. These are all triggers. These are all triggers and so much of this is around. So hey, if you've been triggered, that's okay. It's okay to be sitting with it and being with it sometimes and if you get stuck in it for a day or two, it's okay too. But sooner or later, we have to come out of that victim mentality, you know? This is what it is. We get stuck in feeling sorry for ourselves feeling sorry about some aspect of ourselves or our life, our relationship with so-and-so, our mother, our father, our sister, our brother, our lover, our child. We get triggered by these things and we get stuck in it and we feel like we're a victim of our relationships. We, we feel like we're a victim of, hey, the economy, the government, what's happening all around us we get stuck in the victim role you know this is happening to me they're doing this to me and hey yeah it's true it's happening but you know to be the victim is to you know this is happening to me this is happening to me so it's like reacting to what's happening to me and hey it's okay we get triggered and we react to some things that are happening to us we all do it no one is free or absent of this, but you know, you can sit and be in that victim role for a period of time. I'll allow it. I'll allow you that day or two if you're feeling low sometimes, but then sometime, as soon as you can, as quickly as you can, you know, when you can, the next day or the day after, you've got to come back to the reality. You've got to come back to the truth. You are an unlimited being. And you need to remind yourself of that. You have to come back to the truth. You have to come back to the authentic reality. That you are an unlimited being. Right? To remember your spirit nature. To remember you have an unlimited part of you. A part of you that isn't afraid. A part of you that is safe and healthy and whole and well. All of the time you've got a perfect bit that you can step back into your higher self, your inner child, your greatest energy, your spirit, your soul energy. You can reconnect to the authentic aspect of yourself and the, the authentic energies, the true energies, the loving energy, right? The energies of love. You can rise and you can practice love and health and wellness again, you can start thinking and speaking about where you're going and not about where you are or where you've been. You can change your thoughts and words and actions and refocus yourself. This is what we all must do right now, especially with all of the things that are around us. Get yourself moving, get yourself breathing, thinking and speaking, meditation, breath work, movement, Healthy natural foods, live foods, fruits and vegetables, juices, fluids, hydrogen rich elements. See the, see the water behind me. The water is sitting on the earth and picking up a negative charge, a hydrogen, a hydrogen charge. See the light of the sun. The sun is a hydrogen ball. It's, it's inspiring a hydrogen light upon the water. It's, in, it's invigorating the water. Healthy natural water is invigorated water. It's the water that's in fruits or vegetables, live foods, fruits and vegetables, fasting. These are the things we can do. We can get moving, we can get breathing, we can get thinking, we can get speaking, we can start move, uh, eating more live foods, fruits and vegetables. We can get out into nature, we can sit and we can meditate. Hey, every Sunday I'm gonna be supporting you. I'm gonna be doing a, a little exercise, a little bit of movement, a little bit of yoga, a little bit of mindset, a little meditation, a little bit of breath work every Sunday morning in my private group. If you're not in my private group yet, please join my private group. Every Sunday morning at 11, join me for a little health and wellness. Let's get this year going right. Let's start off on the right track and let's keep it going all year long. Let's practice together. Get into my communities. Get into my love community, my natural health community. Join my private group. Join my chats. Get into the dialogue. Join me. I love you. I love you. I love you.